this gospel reading this morning discourage those of us that seek leadership roles in God's church? Is wanting to be in charge, to be on vestry, to be a warden, a bad thing? In the Old Testament reading, you and I heard the story about Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Hagar, and Ishmael. Well, Sarah wants to take control of her life. She wants to be in charge of her family and what happens to them. She wants her son Isaac to be favored above all. And if that means casting out her slave and her husband's other son, so be it. Sarah does not want the slave to be equal to the master. And having Ishmael, Abraham's son, by a slave woman, playing with her son is not okay with her. See, Sarah is accustomed to the hierarchy of her culture and her time. And while she was above her slave, she was not above her husband. Now, of course, we can imagine that Abraham is having a hard time simply casting out the mother of his child and his son into the wilderness. He is truly distressed. But then God comes to Abraham and says, just do what Sarah asks and I'll take care of the boy. And sure enough, God takes care of Ishmael and makes him a great man. God has plans. God is the one who is truly in charge. In state speak, he is the boss's 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 boss. A disciple is not above the master. It is enough for the disciple to be like the teacher. As you and I read further on in the Gospels, see, we see what Jesus is getting at with this non-hierarchy speak regarding humanity. If you or I align ourselves with an individual, when that individual messes up, and they will because they are human, then you and I are no better than the person we have followed. What Jesus is saying here is that as humans, our only choice is to follow Jesus Christ. Our only choice when it comes down to it is to follow Jesus Christ because he is the only one that will not let us down. He, Jesus Christ, is the only one that will not let us down. Jesus is saying that while your family may have taught you, taken care of you, given you wonderful opportunities, loved you, and even helped you in times of trouble, they are not the ones to follow. There is no human on this earth that should be followed and obeyed above Jesus Christ. Yes, we do have hierarchy in the church and hierarchy in our lives, but the true leader is God, the true leader of us individually and us as members of the church is Jesus Christ. And he is the one you and I should be seeking constantly. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Who are you following? Who are we following? Two bright young engineers applied for the same position at a computer company. And since they had identical qualifications, the company asked both of the applicants to take a 10 question test. At the conclusion of the test, one of the applicants was called into the manager's office. I have graded the test and you both scored nine correct answers and got one answer wrong. Thank you for your interest, but we've decided to give the job to the other applicant. Why would you choose him if we both got nine right? Asked the rejected applicant. Well, we based our decision not on the correct answers, but on the question you missed. Well, how would one incorrect answer be better than another incorrect answer, the rejected applicant inquired. Simple, said the department manager. The other gentleman answered question number five, I don't know. Your answer to question number five was, neither do I. Who are you following? Am I saying that we should not have hierarchy and leaders in the church? 
Of course not. Think about our leadership in the church. We have laity that can serve on vestry, be wardens, head committees, lead Bible studies, etc. We have priests and deacons who lead worship, preach God's word, and look after the spiritual well-being of the congregation, among many other things. And we have bishops who look after that clergy and the big picture of the church, among many other things. None of these roles is more important than the other. They all require special spiritual gifts. They are just different roles in the community, not necessarily hierarchy. Leadership is needed. And what I am taking from the gospel this morning is that while, yes, the church must be dependent on human leadership, you and I, as the church, must also live lives of prayer and study in order to constantly discern God's will. The church is a human institution, and as humans in that institution, it is our duty to pray and seek God's will in all things, so that in the midst of following other humans, we can be sure never to forget to follow Jesus Christ first and foremost. Which hierarchy is best? Church and the state? They're both human institutions. They both need leadership. Who are you following? Here's the hierarchy. Us. Jesus Christ. Above us. You can fill in the rest of your org chart later. Amen.